ولا تقول ان لشئ اني فاعل ذلك غدا اند نيفر سي دس از ويري امپورٹنٹ نيفر سي اي شيل ديفينيتلي دو دس ثينگ ٹمارو نيفر سي دس الا ان يشاء الله always add if allah wills i intend to do it but i will be able to do it only if allah permits if there is the permission of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if he wills only illa yasha allah now these you know these words they represent our culture of monotheism tawhid whenever something good comes to you alhamdulillah you are thirsty you had water to drink and what you do say alhamdulillah all praise be to allah you see something which is nice which is beautiful the flower very beautiful flower what do you say subhanallah you know seeing everything but remembering allah subhanahu wa taala you see something which pleases you you will find in the next you know section mashallah what allah subhanahu wa taala has decreed is the same way I shall do this. I intend to do it. Inshallah, I will go. Although the car is ready, I got it serviced, you know, and the tank is full, gas is there. Well, I can go. No, no, no. I will not be able to go unless Allah permits. And there is a, a tradition behind this ayah. Actually, when these questions were said to Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, these three questions, he thought that Jibril comes daily. So this night when he comes, I will ask and tell them. So he said, "Okay, tomorrow I will give you the answer." Now Allah disapproved of it. He should not have said this. He should have said, "Insha Allah." So because this was a mistake. Now Jibril is not coming. One day gone, two days gone, three days gone. Now people are laughing. Finished. failed what happened to you where is your angel where is the wahi then when wahi came this instruction was also wala taqul anna li shay'in inni fa'ilu zalika ghadan illa an yasha allah never say for anything that i will do this tomorrow except if allah wishes if allah permits waskur rabbaka idha nasita and if you forget and then when you remind yourself and you remember allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then say wa qul asa an yahdiyani rabbi li aqrab min hadha rashada it's possible that my lord leads me guides me to something which is better than this i intend to do this but maybe allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intends something better for me why should i decide that i have to do this i give leave it to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if he decrees if he permits well okay it will happen maybe allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decided for me something which is better than this asa yahdi an rabbi li aqraba min hadha rashada wa labisu fi kahfihim salasa mayatin sanin wa zadadu tis'a and they remained in their cave for 300 years and some people have added 9 years to them the explanation of some of the mufassirin is that they were 300 years years 300 years according to the solar calendar but as for the lunar calendar in each century three three years increase so according to the lunar calendar it was 309 years so both figures are correct wa labisu fi kahfihim salasa mayatin sinina and they remained in their in their cave for 300 years was dadu tisa and added to it were nine qulillahu alam bima labisu again this is all not very important say my lord knows best how much they remained for what period they remained over there lahu ghaibu samawati wal ard to him belongs all the unseen of the heavens and the earth absir bihi wa asma how excellent seer he is and how excellent hearer he is ma lahum min dunihi min waliyin there is no friend for them no protector for them except him wala yushriku fi hukmihi ahda and he doesn't make partner anybody in his authority lam yakun lahu sharikun fil mulk we have read in the last ayah of surah surah bani israil 
الحمد للہ لم يتخذ ولدا ولم يكن له شریک الفی الملک دیر ہیز بین نو پارٹنر ود ہم ان کنگڈم ایز اے کنگ ہی از آل پاور فل اینڈ ہیئر اگین دا سیم تھنگ ولا یشرق فی حکم ہی احدا ہی ڈزنٹ انکلوڈ اینی بڈی ان ہز اتھارٹی وٹ لو ماؤ ہی الیکا من کتاب ربک او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم یو ریسائٹ وٹ ہیز بین ریویل ٹو یو من دی فرام دی بک آف یور لارڈ لا مبد کل ماتے ہی نو بڈی کین چینج اٹس ورڈس ون تجدہ مندو نہ ہی ملتحدہ اینڈ یو ول ناٹ فائنڈ اینی ریفیوج ایکسیپٹ ود ہم آئی ایز ٹولڈ یو دیٹ دی گریٹ یو نو دیٹ واس گوئنگ آن دی پریشرز آن محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اینڈ ان دو سرکمسٹانسز محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم یوز ٹو پے مور اٹینشن ٹو دی ویل دی پیپل ٹو دی امپورٹنٹ چیفس that if they accept me then the muslims will be strengthened our position will, will be strong in in makka so he used to pay more attention to the wealthy and to the more important elite of makka but there were poor people also bilal and you know khabab al arat there were slaves this hurt them that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is paying more attention towards them they are rich they are chiefs But not to us. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is instructing Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that you must, be, pay, you must pay more attention to your poorer companions. وَطْلُ مَا هُوَيَا إِلَيْكَ مِنْ كِتَابِ رَبِّكَ Recite. And this is the source of strength for you and your companions. Whatever has been revealed to you from the book of your Lord, nobody can change its words. And you will not find any refuge except with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَسْبِرْ نَفْسَكَ مَا الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَدَاتِ وَنَشِيَةِ And content yourself along with those who call upon their Lord mornings and evenings. These fuqara'i sahaba, the companions, the poor people who are calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who's praying in the morning also, in the evenings also. وَلَا يُرِيدُونَ وَجْهَهُ They intend only the face of Allah, that is, His pleasure. They want that Allah be pleased with us. وَلَا تَعْدُ عَيْنَاكَ عَنْهُمْ تُرِيدُ زِينَةَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا And let not your eyes pass beyond them, seeking the pomp and glitter of this world. These, you know, Rausa and these chieftains and these rich people, they have all the glitter and they, you know, seem very important. But you should not pay more attention to them. وَلَا تُتَعِ مَنَا خَلْقَ نَا قَلْبَهُ عَنْ ذِكْرِنَا And don't follow or don't give importance to those whose hearts we have deprived from our remembering. وَالتَّبَعَ هَوَاهُ And they are following their wishes and lusts. وَكَانَ عَمْرُهُ فُرُطَا And their all affairs are very much extreme. وَقُلِ الْحَقُّ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ And you should say to them plainly, This is the truth from your Lord which I am presenting before you. فَمَنْ شَافَ الْيُومِنْ وَمَنْ شَافَ الْيَكْفُرْ Whosoever wills should believe. Whosoever wills, he should disbelieve. It's your choice. I have only to convey to you. قُلِ الْحَقُّ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ I am not going to request you. No. No, no matter of request. I have before put before you the truth from your Lord. Now it's your choice. فَمَنْ شَعَفَ الْيُومِنْ وَمَنْ شَعَفَ الْيَكْفُرْ Whosoever decides, he can become a moment. He, 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 can, he becomes a believer. Whosoever wants to disbelieve and deny, okay, he is free. But, إِنَّا أَعْتَدْنَا لِلْكَا لِلْزَّالِمِينَ نَارَا But for these evil, evil doers, we have prepared a fire. You have the authority. Choice is yours. Go this way or that way. But the result in the hereafter is going to be very different. In the hereafter, we have prepared the fire for them who disbelieve Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who reject Quran. إِنَّا عَتَدْنَا لِزَالِمِينَ نَارًا أَحَاتَ بِهِ سُرَادِ قُحَا This nar whose smoke and flames will surround them like the walls and roof of a tent. وَإِنْ يَسْتَغِيسُوا يُغَاسُوا بِمَا إِنْ كَلْبُهُلْ 
and if they will aunt and ask for water they will be given you know the molten copper which will burn and roast their mouths yes will wuju be sa sharab very bad thing to drink wa saat murtafaqa and very bad place to rest over there that is this jahannam 